Within Business Central, we've been focusing on planning and we're looking at basic planning here today using the requisition worksheets. Very quickly, I want to talk about um, in the inventory, uh, currently I'm in a inventory manager role. There are multiple ways of planning for demand okay within business central there's the order plan there's a requisition worksheet there's planning worksheets you have the ability to actually open up the plan of orders so if you were in a for example a sales order you can actually go into uh the plan through the sales order and action off it create production orders um purchase etc so there's there are different ways of doing things um what we're looking here at is the requisition worksheet and from this worksheet um one of the questions i get asked is why do we have multiple worksheets one of the big warnings i give you is once you start planning if you lift it into a requisition plan if you have a uh, planning worksheet or if you have planned this item already on the order it will remove it from needing to be planned for and so what can happen is that if you have multiple sheets and multiple people are doing all of business, all inventory, all locations, it can actually uh, get conflicting and you'll, you'll, one person will be planning for some things and another for something else. So one of the big things that you can do is you'll have a sheet per person, but when you actually go in, so let's just clear this demand here. And when we go to calculate, we would most likely filter this by location. You always filter by location. You want to have a start and an end date. You've got to decide if you're using your forecast or not. And if we're expecting things to do with, for example, safety stock, planning, planning parameters, all right? We're going to calculate based on lowest price. So we've, we've actually using um, price cat, our EDI, and all of our vendors are importing pricing we should be able to actually plan now and say, so well, show me pricing based on the lowest cost for these items that I need to sell, which is pretty exciting. I've filtered this down by an item because I don't want to do everything within my database and I'm just going to hit the main location here. And that should give me enough to turn around and pull up a plan. Let's hit OK. <laughs> Excuse me, I think I, from a previous, I created demand in another location, which I did in East. There it is. Now, as you can see here on lowest price, we can see an action. This is actually a new action. You can get actions come in that says change the quantity, reschedule, reschedule and change quantity or cancel that order. Okay. What it is for which location. What's the original quantity? If it wasn't, I think these items are created as uh, transfers. If they are purchases, they will have flowed through with an original quantity from some form of purchase document, like a sales document. What is the original quantity? Quantity, unit of measure, uh, what's the cost? When are we expect it to be in? So, and vendor details should actually flow through if we're actually doing this for purchase. You highlight what you want um, by selecting accept action message and carry on action messages. Once you hit this, you can print your orders or you can just hit OK and the purchase orders or transfers will be created. Now, this does not take into consideration bill of materials. Uh, this is just looking at the direct, direct planning itself. OK, so a requisition worksheets is a simple planning for purchase items.